struggling with addiction targeted for their state benefits and offered an easy deal for drugs. Our Zach Anders looking into this for us. So, Zach, how did this scheme work exactly? Yeah, a, a micro economy sprung up around access to these EBT cards. Police say the food was bought legally, but then the cardholder was compensated a fraction of what the groceries were worth in cash, and then that cash was used to buy drugs like fentanyl in exchange. Seattle police arresting two men in their 50s last Wednesday for their role in a prolific benefit scheme. EBC cardholders being used as an intermediary for the cash needed to buy drugs, sometimes on the spot. Police say it often happened here at Asian grocer Lamb Seafood. They approach our customers. We have people that I call them organizers. They uh, they actually go and find out the find these transients and ask if they uh, have EBT cards. If they do, they they make deals with them. The deal, police say, the two men would shop with an EBT holder, pick out the items themselves, then offer cash after the sale. They say the cardholder would get at best 50 cents on the dollar. Now we are obligated when somebody comes in and uses an EBT card, we can't. Even if we, we think we know this is person is buying for this person, right, it's selling it, we can't say no to you because you know, we can't discriminate against anything, anyone who's, who's using an EBT card. Police say those groceries would then be sold again on the street or to nearby restaurants, doubling this scheme's return. Lamb says it cooperated with police and even made them aware of what was happening. Our customer count is down and our sales is down because these people, this congregation of, of drug users, they're scaring off our regular customers. Police say they witnessed drug deals occurring outside after many of these transactions, turning that recent cash into fentanyl right there in the parking lot. And it got so bad, um, as you saw our, in our market, we had to put up a fence. Uh, a, few, a couple months ago uh, around our market to try and keep people off our parking lot. Those two individuals had guns, drugs, hundreds of fentanyl pills and cash when they were arrested. They've been charged with trafficking benefits, selling narcotics and money laundering. Recording from Seattle, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.